Hey guys, it's Chicken Connor. Welcome back from our Mother One. In the last part, we got thrown off the mount of uh, Mount Toy, and in this part, I'm going to show you that Easter egg that I promised I would show before the game ended. Now, before we do this, you're going to want three strawberry tofu. This shows up as berry tofu, but it's really strawberry tofu. You're going to want to leave LA through this side over here. Hang on, let me check this. Alright, we have the Lookout Tower to the west, Harbor to the north. We're going to want to go to the Lookout Tower. And run into enemies! And kill those enemies! Alright, now. Can you... Going up north. Now, hopefully I can complete a thought before running into another enemy. Anyway, you want to leave um, LA through this way over here. Just keep, keep following the path, and you'll come to this tower. This is an Easter egg that was shown off in the, uh, in the uh, plane that we took. You just want to go into that escalator, it'll take you right up here. Now, there's an island off in the distance. You're going to want to check the binoculars. Looked into a telescope. In the distance on the island, something sparkled. And a rocket flew from the island to come get us. They climbed onto the rock, into the rocket. I don't know how all three of us could fit in that thing, but okay. And now we have an island with a dog house. Alright. Now we go into this house. And these people are stranded on this island. Have you ever tasted strawberry tofu? Yes. Find some for me, please. I'll trade something nice in return. I will say no! No way to buy things like in this place. Alright, let's see here. Um. Oh, this is strawberry tofu! Thank you! Here's something nice for you in return. You get the words of love, which I believe is a battle item. I think I've actually never used these before, I've just done this. It says question mark, question mark, question mark for the description. Alright. I look just like Abel, but I'm Baker. I also want to try strawberry tofu. Okay. Strawberry tofu can be bought from the food section. <laughs> Take these swear words with you, he says. Um, the uh, strawberry tofu is an item you can buy from the uh, food section of the LA department store, if you know. Thank you, it looks so good. I'll share some important information. Near the summit of Mount Toy, deep in the lake, there lies a fantastic robot. I think it still works. Alright, well, they give you a helpful hint as to what to do on Mount Toy. But that is actually all that is here for us. There is nothing else for us to do. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to resume from the healer's house on Mount Toy. Yes, you have to go all the way back up that mountain, but with Lloyd this time. Now, there's two things you can do, basically. You can either... Have you saved at the healer's house? You didn't save after that? You can just kill yourself and get back up on the mountain in an instant. Or you can just walk all the way. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up a long way so I can get some more levels, okay? Which is also the same reason. Everyone's all like, oh, why don't you get a repel ring? Well, I kind of want to go through this game without dying, and I want to get like as much experience as possible in those off-screen training portions. So, you know, I don't really use repel rings, because I want to get as much experience as I can. But anyway, um, I'll see you guys in just a moment, okay? I will see you at the healer's house on Mounty Toy. Just give me a minute to get there. Or in your case, a second. A second! All right, see ya. Okay, and we're back. Now, I spent a lot of time, uh, you know, I leveled up a few times. Um, Anna's learned a few new powers, I believe. I just uh, learned a new one right now. I haven't gotten to see what it is yet. She's got Healing Pie. I know that much. That's new. Um, still no Beam Gamma, which is unfortunate, because Beam Gamma is the one-hit KO move that really can save you a lot of Mounty Toy. But anyway, now that we've come this far, let's go ahead and continue scaling the mountain. Now that we can get past the healer's house, um, I'm going to show you why you needed Lloyd here in just a minute, alright? Because a lot of people are like, hey wait, can't you just play through the game, like, you know, without Lloyd, don't go to the healer's house and everything like that, just keep Teddy, because, you know, Teddy's a lot stronger. Well, you actually can't. I'm just going to show you that here in a second, I just want to fourth diesel these guys. Basically what I've been doing on these enemies, just fourth diesel and then just have the other two guard. That's generally the best method until, like, uh, you get up to the next part where you can actually stand a chance against killing the monsters really easily. Uh, oh god, oh mooks. Uh, oh mooks, I believe they have one-hit KO moves. Uh, you're gonna find, another tip I want to tell you, you're gonna find enemies on here that have items called Stone Origins. What a Stone Origin does is it'll turn a character to stone. It's like Diamondization in Earthbound, basically. And, you know, just like Diamondization, it's a one-hit KO. 
that's definitely something you want to avoid, because that could be a really bad game over for you if you're dead to your last guy and they just do a stone origin, which there's really no way to block it. Okay. Now. More of these stupid O mooks that I'm just going to have 4th D slip. This is where the 4th D slip comes into the best use of all, is just when you're doing that. Because it's always run away no matter what. And you can never be too careful here. Now, you come to this lake on the mountain. Don't ask how there's a lake on a mountain side, but whatever. You come to this boat. The boat motor appears to be broken, but Lloyd fired it right up. See, without Lloyd, you can't get in this boat. You can go around... You can go around inside the lake and everything, thanks to Lloyd. What you want to do, though, is go into the whirlpool in the middle of the lake. The middle of the lake, just like that NPC back on that secret island told us. Go in. We get sucked right in! Very bad graphical animation. But anyway, you go in here, and lo and behold, no enemies. You just go down these escalator things. You can hold the B button to make it go faster, which is kind of funny. Got to find you can just hold the button down to make everything go faster in real life. You want to go to this side. I don't believe there's anything that way, but oh well. Keep going. There's no enemies in here, nothing to worry about. There is nothing threatening, despite how the other factors have been. Look at that, fishies in the window, we're underwater. Look at this, I can hold down the run button. Dance, fishies, dance. Okay, I couldn't resist. Just keep on going. Keep her going. This is a long place. More fishies, hold on the B button. Dance, fishies, dance. Okay, enough. Okay, now in this room, this is where you need to go. Or the next room, I think. More fishies. I believe the dead. I believe there's a dead end over here. Oh, another door. Because I believe that last room is where you're supposed to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dead end. All right. Now this last. This room right here, where there's a fish tank on either side of this long ladder. This is where you're supposed to go. Climb up this ladder. And the glass is starting to crack, as you just saw right there. Can't talk to it. Check it. Feeling intense presence. The robot came back to life. My name is Eve. I have been waiting for you. My creator was George. He was taken to the end of the universe, so it seems that our great-grandfather George built this robot to aid us as he knew we would be coming here in the future. Then brought back later, I am here to protect you, that is my purpose, and the glass is cracking. It's flooding! Really bad flooding effect, but Eve saved us. Eve is the only fourth party member you get in this game. Eve is incredible. Basically, you will no longer have to worry about any monsters in Mounty Toy because she basically one hit kills everything and she never dies. She is just awesome. Basically, you can just sit back, relax, do whatever you want. You mainly can just guard and heal for the most part. Look at this. She suffered 882 damage with one regular blow. She can do over a thousand damage, in fact. There is no, like, 999 damage cap in this game. She can just kill the crap out of everything. Oh, and his PSI was blocked. Like, I really care. I have freaking Eve. Anyway, I'm gonna cut the rest of this fight. I'll see you guys in just a moment. Just wanted to show you how powerful Eve is right there. Alright, hang on a minute. Okay, and we're back. There is one bit of info that I will need to tell you about Eve. Eve cannot leave the mountain. You cannot teleport with Eve in your party. I don't believe the Onyx hook works. And whatever you do, do not go back to the healer's house. Whatever you do, don't go back to the healer's house. I'm telling you that for your own good. If you go back to the healer's house, the, it, there is a way that Eve can kind of die, okay? And if she does, you can never get her back. So don't go back to the healer's house. Just have Eve just kill the monsters, ha have her level you up, and then you know, just keep your party members alive with your own skills. Because basically, the, all you have to do is just keep your party alive while Eve just pones everything. Oh, there we go, 989 damage. With a smash from Eve. God. Alright, I'm just gonna warn you again, Jimmy. Don't go back to the healer's house. Heh, <laughs> you can't PSI block on Eve. Heh, <laughs> you can't hurt Eve. Eve is perfection. Don't worry, you won't have Eve for the final... You're, I just will tell you right now, you're not going to have Eve for the final boss, so don't think the final boss is going to be a pushover. Because he is not. The final boss can be a bitch sometimes. I know some people who have gotten to the final boss and never beaten him. He's just that hard. Oh, 1,012 damage. Broke 1,000 damage, just like I said she could. 
Yeah, I'm just having fun showing off Eve right here. Anyway, you want to go along the lake this way. Go up here. I'm going to be making a sped up video in the next part and everything just to show you how to get up the mountain really fast. No need to show off that fight at all. Alright. Again, just make sure you have Anna holding the Franklin badge, especially in this part, because if she doesn't, she can get one hit KO'd by, you know, Beam Gamma, and that could be really, really nasty. Because Anna is basically the character that learns super healing at the earliest level, and she's the one you want to revive everybody. Okay. Oh god, Fire Gamma. Ooh, that hurts. Ah. Well, I'm just kind of showing off the enemies right here and everything. There really aren't any strategies I can tell you. Oh, by the way, Eve can take damage from those, uh... She can take damage from attacks, though, but her max HP is infinite, so you don't have to worry. Um... I'm just basically showing off the enemies right here. There really isn't a strategy to beating them. Just guard and have Eve kill them. Alright? See ya.